unconditional self-acceptance, and the roles of the self. It can be challenging to help not only our clients but also ourselves to unconditionally accept the self. Many, if not most of us, tend to accept ourselves only conditionally, which means we only accept ourselves if we perform well at something, are liked by others, especially those people we care the most about, we reach an important goal in life, or we attain something we want to attain. The problem with conditional acceptance is that if we fail to attain what we desire or we demand to accomplish, we tend to disturb ourselves, perhaps even at times experiencing anxiety, depression, anger, or another unhelpful emotion. It may even negatively impact our behaviors, for example, we may become aggressive, withdraw from others, isolate ourselves, or some other unhelpful behavior that prevents or impairs us from reaching other desired life goals. The diagram you see is to help you better reach unconditional self-acceptance. Notice that there is an oblong with the word self in it. That represents you yourself. Under the shape there is a note that says not to rate the self, just accept the self no matter how you do. This does not mean that you like all aspects of yourself or that you like all your behaviors. It means that despite those, you accept yourself as a fallible human like all other humans in the world. To the right of the shape is a group of horizontal lines arranged vertically and headed by the word, roles. Each line represents a role you have in your life, such as the role of being a parent, a student, an employee, a friend, or even the subscriber to a newspaper. We have many roles. Notice that some lines are closer to the shape indicated as the self. The more important a role is to you in your life. Write that role on a line that is closer to the shape of self. The less important a role is to you, write the name of the role on a line farther from the shape of the self. What you are to do is rate your behavior in each of your roles based on your goals within that role. For example, if your role is a student, you might rate your performance in that role based on the grades you get on assignments, but you would not rate yourself on your performance as a student. The closer the role is to the shape of the self, which indicates that this role is very important to you, the more likely you are to rate yourself based on your performance in that role. For example, my role as a father is perhaps my most important role, so if I do something in that role that I don't like, I might be more likely to rate myself negatively. That wouldn't be helpful, but that would be my tendency, so it would best serve me to be mindful and diligent about that tendency. I hope you found this helpful in unconditionally accepting yourself and as you work with others to do the same.